In my opinion, Black Pryor is one of the most annoying characters in For Honor. But I got a good reason for that. It's because I don't play the character. Black Pryor is one of the most used heroes I've seen in Dominion. It's because he's so versatile when it comes to Dominion. When it comes to duels, I still believe he can hold his own, but 4v4 modes is where he really stands out. Black Pryor's difficulty is easy to medium. This makes it easier for new players to get into him. But all his capabilities makes him a more safe hero for new players. It's also stated that he's a defense specialist. This is evident in most of his moves. When it comes to Black Pryor, I'm not an expert, but I know somebody who is. This is the Gaming Raptor. He's a really good friend of mine. He's a fellow For Honor YouTuber. Raptor, let them know a little bit more about Black Pryor. All right, so with Black Pryor's Bulwark stance, his Bulwark stance, you don't want to use it too much in the battlefield, but at the same time, it is a really good defense mechanism for Black Pryor. Since Black Pryor recently got a bit of a buff to where he can go into his Bulwark stance, like after the front four dodge here. You can go straight into the bulwark like that. And it makes Black Pryor more versatile. Same goes for here. You can go straight into bulwark afterward. Which this helps Black Pryor in key scenarios. Say you missed your first attack. You can go straight into bulwark and you can just flip them. That's why he's like pretty much in the A tier column. Uh, don't get me wrong. Black Pryor still has a bit of a janky kind of kit. But he's still a good character overall. And another signature ability that Black Pryor has is superior lights. This is similar to the crush encounter for the warden. But you can do this from all sides. <laughs> As you can see, if you time it right and throw a light attack in the same direction the attack is coming from, you can counter it. Another ability Black Pryor has is kind of a side light dodge. You know, dodge, light attack. Dodge, light attack. You can kind of dodge out of the way. Pretty good attack to evade people, but not the best for everybody because some characters have abilities that will catch you anyways even though you dodged around them. Next, we're going to get into Black Pryor's feats. Black Pryor overall is very much a support hero, and here are some of the feats that stand out and make him a support hero. So first of all, you got the Umbral Shelter. For a short time, generate shields for you and nearby allies. Shields don't stack, so of course this doesn't stack. We also have feats like Sinister Shield. Grant a shield to an ally by inflicting some damage to yourself, so you sacrifice a little bit of your health to give your teammates some shield. You also got Inspire. Healing Ward, this is really for yourself, but you also got the Doom Banner. But one of Black Pryor's most important feats of all is Oathbreaker. Remove all shields from target and temporarily prevent them from gaining any more shields. So if somebody gets revenge, you can automatically take that away. If you're playing Black Pryor, you must use this feat. Yeah, give me that. Let's get another one. See, I'm gonna... Oh, he did it to me. I was gonna switch up. Oh no, dude. Oh, dude, come on. Come on, Orochi. Dude, really? No, sir. Thank you. You capture. Oh, I made the wrong execution on you, dude. This is the default execution for Black Pryor, and it's so long. I don't, honestly, I don't even like using it. It looks cool, but I don't like using it because usually I get hit in the middle of it. Oh, we got a, we got some some stuff going on at B, but you, you capture. Know, this is a good time to use this feet. Wow, extra health. Look at that. Nice. nice people, nice. Alright, we gotta get some. We gotta get these minions off the point. We're gonna have this guy out of here because it seems like he's getting beat up. Dude, I was gonna flip you. I was gonna try to at least. No.
Oh, I got revenge. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. I thought I already popped it. So oblivious. Okay, before you watch this portion of the gameplay, I gotta say, this has to be one of the best comebacks in For Honor history, or at least on this channel, with some complete randoms. But if you're still watching, I really appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, this is a bot. Well, at least help him out. Sometimes bots can really whoop your ass, dude. Oh, he's gone. Especially level three bot, Zan who? Oh yeah, that's rough. Oh, yeah. You capture zone A. Oh, he's mad. You better keep blocking. You better keep blocking. Okay. This is failing miserably. Go ahead and get your kill. In. You captured zone C. Too slow, bro. I, I don't know why I didn't press that quicker. You captured zone A. Got him. Swing, please. Grab the stamina. Thank you. Lost. Your team is breaking. Usually at this point, there's no going back. They're pretty much close to 11,000. It's hard to come back from this point. As you can see, we got 800 at the moment. This is where the comeback really comes in. Yeah. 
You lost zone A. You captured zone C. This is the important part. If I didn't get B right here, we wouldn't have enough points to compete them and make them break. So if you're in a situation like this, run out, get B, run right back to your teammates because you can't take the whole team by yourself, obviously. But if you do this, you will still have a chance to win. But you gotta group up with your team and hold out. Making the meanest comeback right now. So we seem, oh no, we seem like prior in Dominion. Now it's time to see him in action in duels. And as you can see, I'm not doing so hot right now. I'm just going to do a normal opener. Dude, this dude loves to run his stamina. Perry. Damn. He's gonna probably shove. Gotta get the parry. Yeah. 
I messed up. No, I didn't. He messed up. I should have just did a light attack, but he messed up too, so the heavy went through. Should have let it run through. Just should have let it fly. Do ah, oh, I didn't mean to go into that. Let's do it again. He's out. Woo! No, sir. I'm not going to lie to you, with Black Prior, one-on-ones, I do struggle. I mainly do better with, you know, 4v4 fights. But, like, you have to really, like, think about what you're doing with Black Prior. Like, he's not, he's very versatile. And don't get me wrong, he's really good at, at duels. But my play style, he's just a little difficult for me. But then again, I don't really play him a lot. I got to play more defensive. Oh, no, nice parry. Can't, can't keep throwing those lights. Oh, dude, this dude, dude. Woo! Oh yeah. That's what I need. Victory!